do do oh i didn't see you there people right there that are watching this excellent video made by claw raven hit that subscribe button welcome back to back to the future past edition today we are gonna look at the macbook pro 2012 edition Ooh. voila it's old i know so today we are actually gonna upgrade the hdd to a ssd drive if you're interested in doing that, well, I'm gonna do a step-by-step. -step. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, all you're gonna need is obviously your MacBook Pro 2012 or 2013 edition. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver with a T5, a T6 component. And you're, you're also gonna need a SSD to replace the HDD in the computer. I recommend the Samsung 860 Evo, right, what I'm using right now. You're also gonna need a cloning device to clone the HDD in the SSD, or in my case, what I'm gonna use is a SDD slash HDD dock. All right guys, so we just got everything settled. So, so right now, as you can see, First, you have to hook up your SSD to the docking station. If you had a clone, a clone device, that would be different, but I have a docking station right now. So first, you have to put it in, then plug it into the computer. Right now, it's running through the internal. It's not running through the external. So you, you'll see it pops up here in Macintosh SSD, which is basically the Samsung solid state drive right here. So next, you have to go to disk utility. How are you gonna launch that? So you just have to go to launch pad, then to others, then hit disk utility. Okay, so as you can see, I hooked up disk utility. I I put it on. So as you see, there's the Macintosh HD and there's the SSD, the Samsung SSD. So what you need to do is you need to go to the Sam. Don't go in there. Do not go here because it shows this as external. So you have to go on the Samsung and you have to erase it. So when you erase it, it's gonna ask you questions. So it's gonna ask you the name and the format. The scheme, it doesn't matter. This thing does not matter. You can put it, you can leave it as it is. But this, the format, we need to worry about. The name, you can put anything you want. So we have to make sure that it has to be the same format as the Macintosh HD one. If you don't put it the same format, the process will not work at all. It will get a bunch of errors. So right here is, so we have the macOS extended journal encrypted. Yours might be different. Yours might not be encrypted. It might just be journaled, but mine's encrypted. So you have to go back here, quick erase. So we're gonna name it Mac it. Tosh SSD. Wait, wait. That's for Macintosh, right? I did not spell Macintosh, right? What? Uh, huh. I want to spell Macintosh, right? So Macintosh is D. So we have, then we have to change it to encrypted. If you have encrypted, it's gonna ask you to put a password. After you put in the password, like I did right here, put choose. Then it's gonna lead to here. So it, make sure it's the same format. The scheme, we don't have to worry about that at all. Then hit erase. Here, as you can see, the check marks here, the erase process is complete. Then it's gonna show you the max SSD right here. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna restore it from the Macintosh HD right here. So we're gonna hit restore. And then it says restore, there's only one choice here. If you have like a bunch of drives, um, just hit Macintosh HD. Then hit restore. Then this error is gonna pop up. So it's gonna say the operation fair fail, the the system cannot be unmounted. So what it means as unmounted, it doesn't mean unmounted like you take off the drive physically. It means it, it unmounted from the computer virtually, not physically though. So to fix this problem, we actually have to put the computer in restore mode, which Apple has kind of put it for us. So all we have to do is exit everything and we just have to shut down the computer all the way. You see the, the system fully shut down. So what are you gonna do to put in recovery mode? As soon as you hit the power button, then it doesn't chi does chime. As soon as you hit the power button, you have to hold Command R. You can hold it until it does the chime and everything in startups. But you have to hold a specific time, it, but it won't work at all if you don't hold it. Wait. All right, so we're gonna turn it on and Command R. And we're gonna hold it. 
you can't let go. Wait, when you see the Apple logo, you can't let go, but I, I like to um just hold it. Okay, so it's gonna do like the loading page of the app or the Apple logo. Then it's gonna lead you to this. This is the recovery mode. So you just hit use English for the main language, or unless you're watching this from I don't know, like Germany or something. Uh we're gonna use English. Then it's gonna load it here. Then we have the Mac OS utilities, which is basically here. So all we have to do is actually go to disk utility right here, then we go continue. Then this is gonna pop up. So as you can see here, uh, we have not two, but three drives. We have the Macintosh HD right here. We have the Mac SSD, and we also have this OS X based system. This is basically a, it's a safety measure that Apple puts all the MacBooks just for like if you lose anything. So now we can do, we can restore, we can restore this to Macintosh HD. It, don't do it from OS X based system because if you do it straight in there, it will give you the, like the core, the core o, OS X based systems. It will just give you the core stuff. So you have to go to Macintosh HD, then I click restore. So we have, we are restoring the at Mac SSD from Macintosh H, HD. So this is gonna take a while. It depends how much space you have on this Mac. Well, I have like a lot of stuff on here, so it's gonna take about two to three hours, but if you have little stuff, it's about to take an hour or an hour 30. So I'm gonna pause right here and we'll be right back. All right guys, so as you can see, we have finished. There's a check mark right there. Uh, the drives are mounted, so let's hit done. And that's basically it. You basically cloned your hard drive to a SSD. So here's how we're gonna test it. So what we're gonna do is, so we, we're gonna hit the Apple sign, do startup disk. Then as I said, choose a startup disk. Pick the, pick the external with the external logo. Do not pick the hard drive because it will do the one inside the computer. So this will be outside. So then we're gonna hit restart. It says, I show you once we restart your computer, your computer will start using, make sure it's that one, so yeah. Restart. Then it's gonna restart the computer. Then it's gonna, remember, it's not gonna go off of the hard drive in here. It's gonna go off of the hard drive we have on the dock right now. It might take a little longer to boot up than the one inside because you're, because instead of doing straight through the computer itself, you're doing it straight through a USB 3.0. All right, guys, you can see we are booting this up. Um, so if you have encrypted, it's gonna ask you for a password to unlock the Macintosh HD for this. And also it says, remember the password in keychain. I already could continue though, but it's gonna ask you if you remember. So every single time you log in, it's gonna ask you for a password, but it's gonna be saved into the computer itself. So as you can see, everything's here, all the files. You can check, the, go to finder, then look at the documents. All the files should be here. So remember, all of the processor MD is going straight through the solid state drive. It's not going through the through the inside. So do not disconnect the USB 3.0 until you fully shut it down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut it down. Don't hit restart, don't hit sleep, hit shut down. Now you're able to pull this out and now we can put this inside the computer itself. All right, so now you have to go back of the laptop itself and you have to unscrew it. So there's four in the front, four in the back, and two and one on each side. But these three are very important. Make sure to keep on the separate pile because these three are the longest of them all. So make sure you put it on a separate pile. So all we have to do is just unscrew this. All right, so we have all the screws off, so all we have to do is pull it from the back and gently slide it to the side. And then don't touch anything. Don't touch any of the compartments or the motherboard or anything. So right here is the important part. This is the hard drive, and right here is the second most important part, which is the power, which is the power. So, oh, so what we need to do is actually disconnect this so no power will be in at all. All right, so this is gonna be where the power is located. So you can disconnect this. Now we're gonna disconnect the hard drive itself. So we actually have to unscrew these top two things on, on each side so it won't like grow up. So, Let's unscrew them. All right, so once you unscrew it, you have to pull this out right here and put it right here. Then you're able to just gently pull it out of this. 
and be sure to disconnect the SATA from the hard drive. So this is gonna be your old hard drive right here. And this is gonna be the one we're replacing with. Man, that's a huge difference with this, with the Samsung and with whatever this is. So now we're gonna use out T6 and unscrew these four pins right here so we can hug it up to the SSD. So now we're gonna screw it straight to the SSD and you can basically just screw it like this. Or you can use the, or this screwdriver right here. Perfect. There are four of these, so you have to put one in each hole. There's two in the two in the front, two in the back, or two in the front, two in the back, depends on where you You look up the cable that we disconnected from the hard drive to the SSD. Now we can just insert it in. Okay, so you're supposed to make sure it's fully in and put the four pins into place. And now you have to put the lock in with the two forward in here. Now you put the two the same two screws when you put in the bracket and just righty tidy them. Once you have all the SSD components installed, you can finally hook up the power cable like this. And now you can just put the lid back into place. So what we have here is a short and a long once we dis we dismantle from all of this. So now we can just insert it back in. The first time you hook this up, it might take a little longer because it's starting to get used to it. It might take a little longer than it's gonna usually do. All right, as you can see, it's been a lot faster. This used to be like, we used to wait for about like two to two and a half minutes. Now it went up like at 10 seconds. That's a, that's very fast. That is a big difference. We're gonna check the disk utility to see if all this is the same. So we have to go to others and we have to go to disk utility. That's gonna be all the way bottom. All right, so as you see, it says free 690 and it says 298.48 use, which is basically what is inside your Macintosh right now. Congratulations, you finished it. Now go enjoy yourself and watch this video over and over again inside this computer. Now be sure to leave a like, also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss anything. And subscribe on your new Mac 2012 slash 2020 laptop in here. And also put that notification bell on. Until next time, see you in the next one.